making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. Harsh impact. What a strike. the impact. Down they go. Batista returned to WWE in 2014 in the best shape of his career. The animal entered the Royal Rumble match and stood nose to nose with upstart Roman Reigns. Uh, it was absolutely electric, Michael. Batista eliminated Reigns to win the match and became only the fourth man to win the Royal Rumble twice. He's starting to stumble here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. I'm gonna go back to Batista's 2014 Royal Rumble win. The WWE Universe could not have voiced more displeasure at the fact that Batista won, even when he faced off against the much-despised members of the Shield. Yeah, it wasn't the hero's return he expected, but that didn't stop the animal from crushing everything in sight on his road to WrestleMania. When Batista returned to WWE in 2014, he brought with him a new repertoire of attacks and evasions. Corey, how does mixed martial arts impact someone's matches? Hold, strikes, establishing control are already part of the superstar's DNA code. Adding proficiency in mixed martial arts makes Batista a more complete competitor. It made the animal even more vicious. Talking about Batista's MMA training being incorporated into his offense for WWE competition also speaks to the evolution of the sports entertainment competitor. Byron, share with us your thoughts. Michael, I don't think the already dominant Batista even needed any more offensive tools. But I completely agree. At 6'6", 290, the force that's now well versed in Kali and Jiu-Jitsu, now that is scary. And he's a guy that can flip a switch and turn it on like this. Nailed it. Batista has taken on a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much is left in the tank. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. I'm not sure he has much left. Oh, man, a mastodon-sized choke slam. Game, set, match, 
this one is over. That might be the end of Batista tonight. in a little bit of trouble here, but he's not appearing too worse for wear, at least not yet anyway. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. Sometimes when you're dominating your opponent as much as he's been doing in this match, you lose focus. That's likely what happened here. Power slam! I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Incoming. Looking at Larian. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Oh man, Batista's in trouble now. And here's Vader looking for a pinfall. What a win for Vader. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Vader! And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah, the performance picked forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will 